Hey, 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 all you fellow IFPers out there, you are back with your girl, Siandra, the actions with Inspire for Purpose, and I want to say thank you for joining me again for another episode. Today, I want us to discuss, yes, you and me, let us discuss hmm, making excuses for our excuses. I want us to completely stop that today. And so go ahead and take a moment, take a minute, do what you need to do. This hair is like, oh my goodness, everywhere but I like it. It's kind of heavy, but go ahead and do what you need to do and come on back and join me here so we can get into it. All right. See you shortly. So thanks for staying tuned and, and joining me again. I'm so happy again to have you here. So let's just go ahead and get right into it because your time is valuable and so is mine. And we just want to hit it and quit it real and raw, making sure that you get everything that you need from this channel because we are inspiring each other uh, to walk out our purposes on purpose, with purpose, and in purpose, for a purpose. That's a lot. <laughs> so how many times have you been making excuses for your excuses, right? How many times have you allowed your excuses to hold you back? And then you go and you even kind of justify those excuses. You know, that is like the most, hmm, what's the word I'm looking for here? I think that is like the most... Or the harshest thing, you know, that you could possibly do to yourself. Um, when we make excuses for our excuses, because then we're becoming enablers of ourselves, right? And we really don't want to do that. We really don't need to do that. There is no room for people of purpose to be held back or stopped or procrastinating about their excuses and justifying those excuses. We shouldn't be doing that. So I know a lot of times we say, hey, I don't have enough time in the day, or I've just given up hope completely, or I just don't have it in me to do it. I don't have the tools and I don't have the resources. I don't have the know-how. I don't have the money. And so again, it's excuse, excuse, and excuse. Now don't get me wrong. A lot of those things are very legitimate. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they can be validated in your life. But at the end of the day, we all have a power within us, right? We all have something within us that pushes us, that drives us to kind of go that extra mile, to never ever give up. And so I need you really to dig in and focus on that again and really feel all of that and get that energy to move yourself forward. So I want you to get rid of the excuse. And, and I got my little book here, my journal, because I wanted to write this down because I didn't want to forget anything. And so I want you to get rid of the excuse. I want you to negate the excuse that, you know, it's too late, right? It's too late. I'm too old. I'm too fat. I'm too skinny. I'm too this. I'm too that. I can't start the new career. I can't start the new business. I can't restore the relationship. I can't get in shape. I can't make friends. Um, it's too late for me to do all that. It's too late for me to become debt-free, to, to save my marriage, to um, recover you know, from a wrong choice. It's too late for me to get healthy. It's too late for me to stop my stinking thinking and my bad attitude. It's too late for me to relocate. I mean, my goodness, whew, I'm exhausted just from reading the list. And that's not even an exhaustive list because I'm sure you've thought of some things since you've actually heard me kind of say some of the things that's on this list. You're thinking of some things that, you know, you're making excuses for and the things that you think it's too late and that you just simply can't do. And it's just all a trick. It's a trick, guys. We are in this game called life. And we have to do life every day. If you wake up, you're going to be doing life that day, right? <laughs> you woke up today, you're listening to my voice, you're doing life right now. So we have to get into the mindset. It is a necessity. It is as essential as breathing each and every day that you get into a mindset to where you focus yourself on the things that are good. You know, you got to think about those things every single day. And you guys hear me say that in so many of my videos. You know, if, if you're a truth seeker like me and I, and I read the truth, so there's a story in the book and, and the book that I read, the book of truth is the Holy Bible. If you read in Hebrews, you're going to hear these stories of these heroes and um, they're going to be demonstrating, you know, or they have demonstrated what was going on in their lives and how they overcame and that they didn't give up. Even when it came to um, Sarah and Abraham having a baby and they were well off into their geriatric years, okay? Um, but she had a baby and some people think, oh, I'm too old to have a kid or to start a family. You know, if you can't do it by natural means, you know, surrogacy, adoption, 
fostering. Those are other options. That totally um, cancels out your excuse <laughs> for the thing that's holding you back to say that you can't start that family. There's just other ways. So begin to change your perspective, begin to change your mindset to see the other solutions. Because if you think it, there is an answer to whatever it is you're thinking and there is a solution so that you can move forward to be able to get those things done. So I want to leave you with this. I simply want to leave you with do not allow time to steal away your essence. Don't let it do it. We have a 24 hour time clock, right? That we all are kind of governed by, but sometimes you have to not, not even focus on the 24 hours in a day. You just have to move forward and say, you know what? I'm not going to look at that clock today. I'm just going to do what I need to do to get it done. And then at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, if you choose to look at the clock to see how long it took, whether it was a day, whether it was 30 minutes, whether it was a month, a year, whatever, you'll know what it took. But at least you're not focused on the time. Get your mind off the time and get your mind on the things that you need to get it on. And that's you moving forward in your purpose, on purpose, with a purpose, for a purpose. Purpose, 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 purpose. You got me? <laughs> So as always, I hope this message bless you. Go ahead, leave comments down below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know how I can better serve you because you are serving me as well. We're in this thing together and we're going to live out our purpose, okay? So as always, love and light and inspire for purpose. God bless. Ciao.